Trabzon, the North Black Sea region of Turkey. So we are headed to Unzungul, which means Long Lake. But first, we need to take about an hour and a half to two hour bus ride. Right, it took a lot of research online to figure out how to get to this place from Trabzon. So we're gonna tell you right now. <laughs> so there is a ticket booth. Shaykur Tour. Yeah, you can look that up and then um, find that in Trabzon, their little ticket office. We bought a ticket um, from here to um, <laughs> for about 16 Turkish lira each. Yeah. I think they leave around every 70 minutes was what I had read. And the guy wrote on the back yeah. all the return time so we know before we even go there when it's supposed to be coming back. on because the buses fill up fast. We felt like a local in there because it was packed and for two hours you don't want to be standing up so buying a ticket and getting seats is very important. Right when we got off the bus it was just, just here really easy 16 lira again each and um, we're ready to hang out and uh, don't have to stress about having seats going back. Someone told me that all the people from Trabzon go to higher elevations during this time of the year and I can see why. In Trabzon, the heat was so bad and the humidity even worse right now. But we just came up here and the weather is perfect. Driving up here was so beautiful. I love seeing all the rivers. It reminds me of home. We haven't been around trees this big in over six months. I feel like everywhere has just been like dirt. Yeah, and, and Mexico, dry. Iceland, um, Cyprus yeah. here. This feels so good to be in the fresh air. And it, yeah, it's just really, really nice. Cut down on costs. We made our own sandwiches and we're having a little picnic next to the lake. caramel and blackberry I think but the caramel is so thick that I literally had to chew it off <laughs> just so strange but just the way that the Turkish ice cream is I love it personally this is some of my favorite ice cream in the world it's, yeah. it's right there with soft serve for me it's definitely different from any ice cream I've had in any country and you guys know that every country I've been to I've tried the ice cream <laughs> okay this guy was on our bus and he works at a virtual reality place and he just invited us to try virtual reality yeah might as well. Time ever. Yeah. I've never done it. Okay, I can see now. My guy's my guy's hand is up. Like, whoa, oh, I have a cute girl next to me. <laughs> what? Whoa, jeez, that feels so strange. I know we're barely moving, but man, it feels like I'm going crazy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, jeez. You're gonna give your head. What is? I have no idea what it looks like out there, but I'm doing flips over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Seriously, it's like I'm gonna fall over backwards. Woo! All right, here we go. Oh, that's so strange. That was so strange. I've never tried virtual reality before, and it was like you were on a ride. I'm, I'm basically standing still, but it feels like I'm being thrown all over on the ride. And towards the end, I got a little bit sick. Just, I mean, I don't get motion sick very easily, but I did a little bit. So if you ever want to try virtual reality, just know you may get a little motion sickness. Like Ashley, that's why she didn't yeah, try it. Yeah, yeah, I know for sure from the screen that I would feel sick after. Yeah, afterwards. yeah. The breeze feels so good up
about Uzungul is there is like a carnival here, a, a permanent fixture of a carnival. So if you come here with family or if you just want to have fun, you can do all kinds of stuff the whole day if you have money and time. Ah. Uh, nice. Thank you. Taze funduk, fresh nuts. I'm guessing hazelnuts? Yes, gelbak, yeah. Mm. Can't tell if he's being helpful or selling us things. I think he's showing. Okay. Gunesh? Uh huh. What is that? Wow. Uh, Jewish. Uh, walnut. Walnut. Yeah, yeah, walnut. Walnut. I think uh, hazelnut. No problem, man. Uzungal? Guzel. Arsen. Guzel, Uzungal. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm going Photo, photo. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. One, two. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Perfecto. Teshaku. Oh, you got fresh nuts. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so they you, come from the trees up here. Yeah, he literally just stopped us and was like, you need to eat these. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. They just take them out, dry them, and sell them. We were told that the mountain spring water is okay to drink. It looks good. It's nice and cold. That's the most important thing right now. Who cares if it gets sick later? It's cool right now. Oh no, I'm scared. I care. Try <laughs> it. It looks clear. Let's see. I want you to die first. I mean... There's no scent. Mm -hmm. Bacteria tastes fine. All right. <laughs> I'll have some now. Thank you. <laughs> we wanted a cup of tea. The thing is, is that we want it with a really great view. So we are hiking up this hill to try and see if we can get a great view of the lake. tourists and literally going on our own way. We can see far in the distance maybe a trail that goes up to a cafe. So we're gonna give it a go. Alright, we saw this little trail and it's going straight up to a cafe. That means hiking up this hill. <laughs> <laughs> Chai with the view. <laughs> we walked all the way up here. I'm sweating so much. I think you earned it. <laughs> Something that I've noticed while in Istanbul and Izmir was that Turks leave like a little bit of tea left in their cup every time they drink it. And I, I drink all of it because it seems fine. But until now, I didn't understand. Here in Trabzon, we have had the tea leaves in our tea. In other places like Istanbul, they use um, the little mesh for the tea. Here, it's directly into our pot. So I'm going to be leaving a little bit of tea on the bottom because I don't want to drink the leaves. <laughs> this is so pretty. The sun is going down right now. We just finished our tea and look at this. Um, yeah. So please know that when you come, 
the best part of the day was hiking up the mountain and stopping and getting some chai. So definitely, definitely take time to do that. I mean, unless you really have something planned here, a day trip is more than enough yeah, to sure. enjoy Uzungul. It's not for swimming in. You can get paddle boats, so you yeah. can't really enjoy the lake other than to feel the breeze off of it and look at it. So, I don't know, it is what it is. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Mm -hmm. I hope we encouraged you to get out there and travel sure. today. And we'll see you in the next video. More to come from Trabzon. G'day, g'day. G'day, g'day.